Good morning, WayFam from, wait, good morning, WayFam from Cyprus. Today, we are in Carinha, in the village of Barabais. Let's go. So Bella Base means beautiful peace. And this town originally was a more Greek-based town. But uh, the politics changed in, I think, 1973 when there was some conflict here. And all the Greeks moved to the south of Cyprus and all the Turks were made to move to the north of Cyprus, which is where we are now. Through the door? Yes. The bride goes inside with the camel. As I mentioned, we're starting our day in Bella Base, a little village outside of Karenia. And Gunnar Cyprus has sent us Hussein, our tour guide, who is very knowledgeable and might I say, great style with the hat and the beard and everything. I'm loving it. So, <laughs> anyways, we are going to be checking out Bella Base first. I think we're also going to see a castle today. All right, we are coming to Balabais Monastery. It is about eight Turkish lira to get in. And we're going to learn all about the Augustan order here in Northern Cyprus. Because the moose was living here. When you look from here, you can see a Catholic church, French style, Gothic style building. When you look at the building, if it's pointy like this, that's Gothic, Latin, French. It's, if it's round, nice round, that's Ottoman. Cyprus in general has had a varied history of multiple owners, shall we say. The Lazanians, the Venetians, the Ottoman Empire, the Roman Empire, British rule, and now it is currently under the Greek and Turkish government systems. It's really interesting that such a strategically placed island um, is little known and still has so much history. We're gonna go into an Orthodox church right now. When you sit here and do this, body comes cross mm -hmm. and you hang your body and you stay away. You get tired or bored. You, you get up and still hang your body. If you get bored, you can do exercise. <laughs> <laughs> During church. You, I mean, when you hang your body, uh -huh. you stay awake. What? Just in case you guys need to know, our friend Sky Class has met up with us again at Sky Travels, right? Yeah. There you go. Every third country. Yeah, this is the third time we've met up. This is great. I'm down here in the cellar of the monastery. A cool fact I just learned I have to share with you. Cyprian grapes were grown here for the monastery and they created wine and they sent it to France as a form of tribute. The wine actually got really famous in France so they took the rootstock, started growing it there and they named it Cyprian wine or in the original context Chardonnay. So a few years back, Australia started making Chardonnay wine and they went to court because France sued them over the use of the name Chardonnay. And we learned in court that indeed, the white grape that makes Chardonnay is believed to come from this region. So Chardonnay is thanks to Cyprus. We drove up the Five Finger Mountain that's overlooking Karenia to the Centellarium Castle built up into the rocks. It was built in the 9th century, the Byzantine era. We're gonna go check it out. Typical Byzantine building. They use the rocks belongs to this area. So you can tell These castles in the Five Fingers mountain range were built by the Byzantines. Three of them are on this mountain range and they're all positioned so that they can see each other and also see the main castle right by the marina. They would signal to each other if boats were coming or if they saw anything and they would all let each other know and the main castle know because they could all see each other from this vantage point. Very high. 
climbing up the mountain. The, he said that there's over 300 steps. That's a lot of steps. Yeah, girl. We're heading up. At the moment, we are in second level, which is Byzantine Church. And the column was around here somewhere. This paint here in the castle is original from the 9th century. It's not all here because it's not protected by anything, but there are areas here where the paint is still the way it was back then because it's protected. They pretty much just built on top of it. It's like the original. original. That Someone painted that in like the 9th century. That's crazy. So cool. Watch your head, Josh. Oh. <laughs> Down there, there's a village. Two friends came to... At St. Hilarion Castle, there is a legend. There's a hundred rooms here, but the legend says there's a hundred and one, actually, because two brothers from the town came up to the castle one day and they found this room that was full of jewelry. And they went in to get the jewelry and they fell asleep and they woke up and they came home down to the village. And they said, hey, where's our friends? And they're like, oh, they've been dead a long time. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Oh, they've been dead. Turns out these people had been dead for 30 years and these brothers hadn't aged a day. So now they believe that there is a hidden room in here that opens every 40 years and it's full of treasures and jewelry and gold and so all the king's riches. It. Yeah. And I'm going to run in, fill my pockets and run out. That's the plan. Or we'll, we'll put a rope on you. I like that. Use this one. <laughs> As you can see and probably imagine, this entire region in Cyprus is quite dry. In fact, the uh, annual rainfall and natural springs can't support the, the amount of people that's here right now. So Turkey has built a pipeline that's over 80 kilometers long. It goes under the Mediterranean Sea and it feeds fresh water here. Part of the uh, political crisis does not allow Southern Cyprus to receive any of that water. They actually have an abundance of water here in North Cyprus because the project was planned to feed the entire island. Okay, we've climbed up to the uh, John the Bastard's Tower, a Lazanian prince. And uh, our guide is actually is too afraid, he says, to go up here. And the reason is, is the story of John the Bastard here is that he tricked an army that came to visit him from his actual king, tricked them into one by one coming up to the tower and he would push them off the edge one by one until the entire army was dead. And so our guide is afraid that the ghost of John the Bastard is going to push him off. Okay. Let's take a look. All right, you gonna jump? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a long way down, man. We well, got one ledge, but I probably just bounce. That's about what, 10, 12 meters? <laughs> We've made it up to the Queen's bedroom, which is what Richard Lionheart honeymooned in. It's very beautiful, it has an amazing view, and I wouldn't mind having a bedroom here myself. <laughs> Ooh. We're at the top. This castle on the hill reminds me so much of the castle we went to in Qatar in Montenegro. We'll put up that video. It was awesome and amazing and we had to hike up to it too. It was overlooking the city and gorgeous. So definitely check out that video. But this, this is awesome. All right, we've climbed up to the very top to the watchtower. It's about 730 some odd meters. We are tired. Look at this. We're at the level of the tops of the mountains now. Pretty much right level. I think after Ashley's done taking a selfie, we're gonna go find some something to eat. All right, if you want to come to this castle, it's about nine lira each, um, which is what, uh, $3? Yes. About. That's actually a great price. Yeah, it's, you could spend a long time here just wandering around. But now, we're gonna go get some donors with our new local friend. Hey man, I've been waiting for this donor all day long. And we also got iron, which is our first since we've gotten here. We're so excited for donor again. Mm. It's like the best, best meal that you can get on the cheap. This is like yeah. the only fast food that I will eat. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, we just got back from the tour and we were so freaking hot yeah. and tired that we just jumped in the pool and relaxed. I'm gonna take a shower, we're gonna edit this video, and we're gonna get it out to you guys. Wave fam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. Definitely come to the north of Cyprus. We're really enjoying the history that we're learning here. Sure. It's so cool. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.